Hey there everyone, this is Shea Silverman and I'm testing out Raspbian for the Raspberry Pi. It's the newest uh, distro that's been released for the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to be testing out a couple games that I've recompiled for it and see if they've gotten any faster. So the first app I'm going to show off tonight is GNGO. It's a Neo Geo emulator. I've used these before on the squeeze distro of Debian, but now this is the Raspbian version, and all these had to be recompiled, so hopefully we'll see a, a speed up in it. And I'm just going to load the game. The only game I have right now is Metal Slug. So you can see it has a nice fluid loading screen. And right now there's going to be no audio with any of these uh, videos, just because I haven't set up uh, audio through HDMI at the moment. And you can see that's looking pretty fluid. Let's insert some coins. And this is happens to be one of my all-time favorite games. So as you can see, that looks pretty smooth. Now Metal Slug was one of those games that just happened to have tons of slowdown on the original Neo Geo. They released Metal Slug X to try and fix some of that slowdown. And this is looking pretty good. Enough of that, as you can see, the, the menus are pre fluid, everything looks good on here, so I'm just going to exit out of this. And this one, just for some reason, takes a little while at the exit screen. And there we are, back at the command line. Alright, next up, I'm going to be showing off MESS, it's the multi emulator super system. I think that's what the acronym is. Anyways, it's based off of MAME's code, and it emulates consoles and PCs. So what I'm going to test out on this is Super Mario Bros. 3 using the NES uh, system. And here we go. And here we have Super Mario Bros. 3. And that looks pretty good. A little flickering, but on all that looks playable. Let's try and get into the actual game. It looks like I have to set up the controls. Sorry about that. So, found the start button. There we go. So, that looks very playable. And just so you know, I am using a S a wireless keyboard and mouse combo, so it's not the best for playing games on, as you can see, because I just died by a Goomba, but this is looking really good. So next I'm going to test out MAME, and let me just quit this, and I'll start that up in a second. Alright, so next up is MAME, everyone's favorite multi-arcade machine emulator. I'm going to be testing out Dodonpachi, a cave shoot-em-up. 
one of my favorite arcade games. Now, one thing I've noticed with MAME on the Raspberry Pi, some games run just fine, like Dodonpachi, a lot of the older 80s games, Donkey Kong, Space Invaders, uh, Missile Command. Some games just are really slow, like Street Fighter, uh, Street Fighter 2, but they're still playable, so hopefully that will uh, get better as time goes by. So let's play. Just a little bit of slowdown, but not too bad. Otherwise, that looks really good. Again, this is one of my favorite games. Ah. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Definitely playable. Alright, I'm going to quit out here and then we'll go on to the last game that I've been testing on the Raspberry Pi. Alright, so one of the commenters on my blog asked if I could get Cave, if I could try and get Cave Story running. So I found an open source port of the engine called NX Engine and compiled that. Now initially there was a lot of uh, lag it ended up being that it was the sound files. So I've turned sound off and that lag has all but gone away. Now I know that's kind of a bummer because this uh, the soundtrack in Cave Story is really good so I'm hoping that maybe I can uh, lower the bit rate of some of the music and maybe get that to work. But. As you can see, it's running pretty smooth. None of that five second lag anymore. Now, I'll be honest, I haven't put a lot of time into this game, so I really don't know the controls well, and I just died. That's awesome. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. There's Cave Story. And I lied, I actually have one more game to show off. Last but definitely not least, I'm going to be showing off Quake 3 Arena for the Raspberry Pi on the Raspbian distro. Um, apparently, Quake 3 Arena, uh, the old binaries do not work on Raspbian, so they had to be recompiled. And one of our commenters did that, as well as recompiling the sound module. So let me start that up. Now, my wireless mouse and keyboard do not work all that well on this. So I'm going to just go through it really fast and hopefully I'll get a better uh, setup for you. loads this pretty fast. Doesn't seem like there's much speed up on this versus the uh, squeeze version. Oh, it looks like there's an error. That's cool. Alright, so I guess this one's sort of worse. We're still going to have to get some of the bugs fixed on that. But there you have it, gaming on the Raspberry Pi. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy it. The binaries for these uh, games will be up on my site, blog.shaysilverman.com. Thanks for watching.